I'm here with Walter Trezek. Walter is chairman of the consultative committee and there's been plenty happening at the UPU just recently. First of all, let's talk about digital, what's it called, digital transformation strategy. Just tell us a bit about this. Um, yes, uh, a lot of things happened um, at the UPU recently. Uh, we had our 27th Congress, the Abidjan Congress, over the summer. And it was uh, a Congress uh, where we saw that the UPU um, actually adopted its first ever digital strategy. That's very important because the future obviously is with data. The UPU did a leapfrog uh, by introducing uh, electronic advanced data on each and every commercial item across borders. The UPU is currently, of course, the backbone of all e-commerce delivery. And this is very, very important. About 75% of all e-commerce items below two kilograms are in the network of the designated operators based on the global network of the UPU. So what does this electronic advanced data mean for postal operators? What does it mean for governments? And what does it mean for consumers? Electronic advanced data means that um, commercial items, e-commerce, can only be sent if data has been exchanged between the operators digitally in advance. For the authorities, it means that there is a digital track on each and every commercial items globally available in a harmonized format. This is very, very important because digitalization is the driving factor of the whole sector. What's the third part of it? Ah, oh, for postal operators. So, and what about for postal operators? What will the impact be for them? Um, if you have data in advance, you can streamline your operations. So you know what's coming even before it hits you. This is very important even when it comes to the ecological footprint. So this is the link then also to the Green Deal. Data, Green Deal works together. Who is at the forefront? The UPU. So just quickly on this idea of the environmental impact of cross-border, can you just give us an example of how this data will help with uh, to say, uh, reducing the environmental impact of cross-border traffic. That was another big achievement. Austria, France and Germany tabled a resolution at the, the UPU conference um, to tackle the global footprint of parcel and postal delivery. Um, that uh, proposal was adopted and the UPU is the first special organization of the United Nations who is adopting such measures on the global basis for the whole sector, not only for the designated operators, not only for the member countries, for the whole postal sector, including, of course, the courier, the express operators, um, and the parcel, the non-designated parcel delivery operators. This is very important because it's all based on the data already available. Yeah? <clears throat> and we need to measure it. And it goes beyond the postal network. It starts up front and ends after delivery, including, of course, the packaging and the content in the parcel. And you just mentioned designated operators and member countries. What's the future there? Because there's been some movement on that front. <clears throat> Absolutely. And um, we worked extremely hard over the last cycle to open up the UPU. And we uh, achieved a consensus. There are two major things. First of all, to open up the UPU, its products and services, more work needs to be done. And therefore, the UPU decided to have a mid-term congress in 2023, fully dedicated on that topic. But we also achieved a consensus um, using the consultative committee as the vessel um, for opening up the UPU for the wider sector stakeholders. Who are the wider sector stakeholders? The wider sector stakeholders are or everybody who is not a government member country of, of the UPU and not a designated operator. Everybody, starting from unions, handicapped people, up to the courier express and parcel delivery operators and all the manufacturers currently here in Vienna. And so will this mean that they too will be able to reap the, ben the environmental benefits of the data transfer and things like that? Not only that, they will be involved in creating those standards, creating those measurement tools, um, linked of course to the data they already need to supply in advance on each and every postal consignment. So does this really mean that we'll finally see that the postal world is not a closed one, we are part of the wider e-commerce and delivery ecosystem? Absolutely. That, that was exactly the target of the DG and DDG 
uh, working um, in the last nine years uh, on that topic. Walter Trezek, thank you very much for joining us on voicemail today. Thank you very much indeed. All the best. Thank you.